Earlier this week, the French government dug in its heels, saying that elections in Libya should go ahead this December as planned. The divided North African nation is likely to miss a deadline, though, this month to hammer out the framework for that imminent vote. Even the Libyan prime minister, who'd agreed to a roadmap for this winter's election, has U-turned. He says the conditions are too unstable to hold a vote. Well, earlier I spoke to the journalist Rumi Arna Ugat Chinska. I began by asking her about the hurdles that now stand in the way. There is no constitution, so uh, there is a draft for the, the constitution, but before uh, using this uh, draft uh, must be organized the referendum. To organize this referendum, the, the House of Representatives is supposed to vote an electoral law. So they are trying to do so now for uh, some months after the meeting in Paris, where they, all the, uh, the parties promised to organize all elections. But they did not, didn't succeed. And they didn't succeed because all the time they are trying to do so, there is no quorum uh, to vote. Uh, and uh, till now, uh, we don't know if there will be a referendum or not, and uh, how to proceed to and organize elections if you do not know which constitution you will use and which law. But even if this December's uh, poll does uh, go ahead, will it, in your view, usher in any kind of change, given that this is happening in a splintered nation and, and there's a current crisis and this poll is going to take place, if it happens, in a matter of three or four months? I think it's really not possible to happen. Uh, maybe it, maybe it, they will decide to do it without a constitution, which is... Well, the, 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 question is the question is, if it does happen in December, will it bring about change? Um, if they organize elections in such a situation, I, I do not believe it's possible because because of the really the the, the situation of uh, in Tripoli and because of the militia. But uh, even if there is elections, uh, they will not be well prepared and uh, they will not have the, the the needed framework and agreement of everyone and everybody to make them be accepted uh, by all, the, uh, all of those who are hunting for power. So uh, if uh, we do so, it we will go back to the same situation as it was in 2014, when um, some of uh, uh, the, 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 the the important actors in, in, in Libyan politics uh, didn't agree to, um, uh, with the elections and uh, didn't recognize the, the result of the elections. And after that started uh, the problem uh, with, uh, with Tripoli. And the most important is that uh, this, uh, this situation and the, the split uh, give free, uh, free space for terrorist uh, groups. And uh, this is really, really a big danger, not only for Libya, it's a danger for us. Well, that brings you up to date. Do stay with us here on France 24. More world news and headlines still to come.